811 million people globally were considered to be chronically hungry. Around 9 million people die every year of hunger. Over 10,000 children are among the 25,000 people who die from hunger-related diseases every day. A child dies from hunger every 10 seconds. Have you ever imagined living in the world free from hunger? A society where everyone can enjoy three healthy and nutritious meals a day? A world without hunger appears to be one in which every person has readily available and accessible sustenance that they can consume for their well-being and survival. Every person, regardless of their age, sex, race, and etc., wants to access healthy, nutritious, safe-to-eat food, but unfortunately, 811 million people on Earth doesn't have that privilege. Our economy, health, education, equality, and social progress may all benefit from a world without hunger. Building a brighter future for everyone depends on our ability to solve this issue, as hunger is one of the main obstacles that hinders human progress. It will also be extremely challenging to attain other sustainable development goals such as health, education, economic development, and more. In our world today, Ending world hunger requires more than just giving hungry people food. We must also address the underlying causes of hunger, the primary cause being the issue of poverty caused by unemployment and low minimum wages. We will be able to combat these factors and end world hunger if we continue to raise awareness and to demand changes on these unfair and widespread systems. Another cause for the recent rise of world hunger is the climate changes that most countries are experiencing. Cyclones, hurricanes, typhoons, and other natural disasters has been destroying the crops of farmers, decreasing the amount of food being produced. The Russia-Ukraine conflict and the COVID-19 pandemic had a significant impact on the price of food, which also increased the percentage of people suffering from malnutrition. Malnutrition and extreme hunger continues to be a global issue that individuals find extremely difficult to overcome. Hunger and malnutrition decreases the ability of a person to engage in skilled developmental activities, which results in the creation of less skilled workers in our workforce. Furthermore, hunger and malnutrition severely decreases one's immunity, which may result in major complications even with relatively weak illnesses. Because of these situations, workers suffering from malnutrition and a decreased skill set only receive low wage pay which renders them unable to enhance their standard of living. Unfortunately, the current reports say that the budget allocated to feed hungry people are depleting in many countries. This can also be attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Hunger is not just about the price and accessibility of food. It's about ensuring that everyone has fair and consistent access. By 2030, the UN intends for there to be no hunger. The fact that the percentage of individuals and families experiencing hunger have decreased in half as they were 25 years ago is promising. Agriculture has become more productive. Societies and economies have grown to the point where they can address issues like malnourishment, food shortages, and price disparity. Food waste is recycled and used to grow more food. Packaging has shrunk and has been made edible and recyclable and sustainable food systems have been developed. Everyone needs to have access to fairly priced, nutritious meals. Zero hunger is a goal where we can achieve as a team. Be a part of the movement to end world hunger by following us on social media, participating in our programs, watching, and sharing our posts. If you have extra savings, you may donate some to the legitimate foundations that feed the hungry. By doing so, you can help raise awareness, feed the hungry, and get involved in movements and projects that will end hunger. By feeding the hungry, you can end hunger. And one day, we will end it all together.